Hey guys. All right, so we're getting ready to start our animation poster, and there's a couple things that I would like to show you guys before we begin. The first thing is this. I'm noticing that quite a few of you guys are not using the file and place method to bring in your images. If you go to file and you go to open, and then you open it from an existing file, here I brought it in, it, everything looks great, right? But then when I go up to my color swatches, notice that all my color swatches are missing. The reason why is because the software is trying to read all the colors from this document. So please do not do that. That will create havoc when you guys are trying to color or use the software. All right. The proper method is this. I want you guys going to file, place, and then you can look for the object or image that you want to bring in. I'm going to place it and then I'm done. Now notice that when I go back up to my color swatches, all the color swatches are still there. All right, so does that make sense? Okay, let me know if you have any questions on bringing in your work or pictures into Illustrator, okay? The next thing that I want to show you guys is how to sample colors from your images that you're bringing in. Okay, so here I got Aang. Here I'm going to bring in Katara. And if you guys are wondering uh, where these animated characters are coming from, they are coming from. Oh, I almost went. They're coming from the uh, Nickelodeon Avatar series, which I absolutely am a fan of. Okay, so now I have all those guys in. I have three artboards. You guys are going to probably want to be working with about five or six artboards since you're working with about four or five different characters plus a background. All right, so here you can see my artboards. Here you can see my layers. And I brought them all in on the same layer, which is layer one. Okay. Now, to sample, I'm going to hit the Z for the zoom command. And I'm just going to zoom in here on Aang. If I want to sample from the, the image that I have, I need to come over here and grab my eyedropper tool. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to select different colors from this image. So I'm going to go ahead and select this type of orange here. Here you can see that the orange is updated. If I hit this drop down and then I hit new swatch, now a new command box opens up and it allows me to name that. So I'm going to name that. Uh, Aang one and I can name it is jacket and then hit OK and now if I look over where my special swatches are I can see that new swatch that I just created okay so let's say maybe I want to sample this darker orange there I have it sampled go to new swatch rename it I'm going to name this Aang 2 jacket and then it updates maybe I need to sample the color for his face I'm going to select it here you can see the color swatch updated hit this drop down I'm going to do new color swatch and I'm just going to name it Aang's face okay so for those of you guys that want to sample from your the image that you're using, that's a really great way to have it accessible to you when you start to design in Illustrator. Okay. Now the next thing is your layers and your artboards. We've already worked with layers, we've already worked with your artboards. Okay. You guys can come in here and you can name your artboard. You can also name your layers. You can also name your paths. So if you're looking at the rubric and you're looking at how to get a level three you're gonna have to be working in layers you're gonna have to be able to rename your layers and it would probably be a good idea to color code your layers okay so when I go in here and I'm grading I'm going to open up your layers panel and I'm going to look and see that you've renamed the layers and that you've renamed the paths within the layers alright I hope that makes sense if you have any questions let me know and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that when we start okay so for example,
I want to work with General Iro. And I'm going to zoom in. Do not be afraid to zoom in, guys. You're going to have to really get in there so you can do the fine detail on your work. Okay. So here's General Iro. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to lock the first layer. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name that layer. General Iro. And here it allows me to give it a color. So maybe I want to put him on a green layer. Hit OK. And there you can see I have General Iro. And now everything that I do from this point on is going to go onto that layer, General Iro's layer. Okay. So first, you need to think of this as whole paths. So for example, if I was to trace his face, try to follow my cursor. If I was to trace his head and then come here and then come down here for his hair, I'm going to make this all one object. So now I won't be able to differentiate. All right, guys, so we're back. Now I'm going to show you guys about those paths. So we already showed you about making sure that you're looking at complete objects. So this is how I'm going to show you how to keep the face and the beard two separate objects, okay? So first, I'm going to trace out the face. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a point here. Do the crown of his head, something like that. Oh, hit escape. As you guys can see, it's already starting to do a fill color on me. So I'm going to hit V to get my selection tool. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to get that fill color out. And I'm going to give it a stroke color that I can see. So I'll do this orange right here, okay? If you guys hear that scuttle bug, that's my IED kids not being very quiet. So that's the noise in the background, guys. All right, so here we go again. So I'm going to come right here. Okay, now I don't need to follow this line for his face, okay? Because I can add the beard in and that will create that line on his face. So I can literally come to the outside of this to make his face. And I don't even really need to worry about making it look great because it's going to be covered up by his beard, right? So there it is. Bada bing, bada boom, and I'm done. All right, so there's his face. If I wanted to sample that, here's the path. If I wanted to sample that color, hit it, select it, boom, there's his face. And there's the path. Okay, so I can double click on that and I can say face Iro. Alright, so now you guys are seeing the example on how to color that up. Now I can hit the eye or I can lock it. Alright, either one. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide it so I can't see it anymore. And then I'm gonna show you guys the beard. Alright, so the beard. I am going to come down here. You see how it keeps giving me this curved piece? If I don't want that, if I want to start with a new straight piece, I just go back to the anchor point, select it, and now you can see I have a new piece to work with. Okay. So we'll do something like that. I'm going to go quick, guys, so bear with me on the design. All right. As you can see, it's doing it again, giving me a fill color. I'm going to hit Z, select it, go up and get the color out so I can see what I'm doing. I'll give it a stroke of like orange so I can see it. Then I'm going to hit the letter P, shortcut for the pen tool again. All right, guys, I'm going to rock this out, so I'm going to go really quick. I'm not really looking to do my best. I'm just doing it to show you guys an illustration. Of the beard. Okay, so here we go. Still rocking this out. I got some clowns in the class making fun of my video, I think. Probably does sound pretty funny, me sitting here. Do you guys see me using my hands like they can see me? I'm all like, so you guys have to do this thing, right? There's all kinds of clowns. All right. 
So now I'm going to come here. Okay, this part, guys, I'm not really trying to get the perfect the beard here. I just want to show you guys about thinking of objects, okay, when you're tracing. Really important to think of objects. So the face is an object. Whoops. You see that got all crazy, right? And say, I'm going to go to the outside and I'm going to do this outside one because this, I can go back and put this line detail in at a later date. Okay, or a later time. Boom. All right, so there it is. Now I have the beard, and now if I wanted to, I could sample the colors, all right? And I'm going to show you guys how I can sample colors and then use a gradient on that, all right? So let's do this color. And I'm going to go make a new swatch with that color. And I'll call it General Iro 1. Hit OK. And then I'm going to hide it. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to call that one General 2. Hit OK. And then I'm going to bring back his beard so I can see it. Hit V so I can select it. And I'm going to come over here to Gradient. And I'm just going to double click on this slider. I'm going to go find that one. I'm going to find that one. And I'm going to try to get something close to it. Okay. So there you guys can see his beard. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into my layers so I can bring back his face so I can show you. Now, do you see how I did his face and his beard? And it gives me that shape and look just like the one in the image okay so I hope this helps when you guys are looking at layers looking at paths and deciding on which one you're gonna do first and how you're gonna trace it out okay let me know if you guys have any questions I hope this helps happy tracing peace out